Welcome to our second tutorial in Factors and Primes. In this tutorial we are going to go through the highest common factor. Now what is the highest common factor? This is simply the largest number that is divisible by both of the numbers. Now to explain this let's go through our first example. What is the highest common factor of the numbers 48 and 56? So a nice easy example. Now using our previous tutorial we are going to use the factor tree to work out the prime factors for the numbers 48 and 56. So let's start with the number 48. Now 48 is divisible by 2. Remember we always start with the smallest prime number. So 48 divided by 2 gives us 24. And we have our first prime factor of the number 48. So we're now left with the number 24. Now again it's an even number so it is divisible by 2. That gives us 12. 2 times 12 equals 24. And that is our second prime factor of the number 48. We are now left with the number 12. So we keep going. Again 12 is an even number so it is divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. So we're going through this relatively quickly because we've already covered prime factors in the previous tutorial. We are now left with the number 6. 6 can be divided by 2 because it's an even number that gives us 3. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So that is another prime factor and the number 3 is also a prime number. So we have found all the prime factors of the number 48. Now let's move on to the number 56. Let's use a different color for this. So we've got 56. Again it's an even number using the factor tree. We're going to divide it by 2. 56 divided by 2 is 28. Let's circle our first prime factor, that's 2. So now we have the number 28. Again, it's an even number, so we can divide it by 2. 28 divided by 2 is 14. So we have now found our second prime factor. It's a 2. We keep going. We're left with the number 14. 14 is again an even number, so we can divide that by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that's another prime factor of the number 56. And we are left with a 7, which is also a prime number. So we have found all the prime factors of the number 56. So let's write these down. 48 equals, now all the ones we've circled for the number 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So those are all the ones that we circled for the number 48. And now let's write down the ones for the number 56. So all the prime factors of the number 56 are the ones that we highlighted over here. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Now it's important you write it this way to make, it, to make the next step easier. Now look at all the numbers which are similar. If we've got a 2 over here for the number 48, we've also got a 2 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to circle them. Any other numbers which are similar? Well, there's another 2 at the top here, which is also similar to the 2 for the number 56. We also have another 2 here, 
those are similar. So therefore, the highest common factor, and this is how we work it out, the highest common factor equals 2, which is this one here, times the 2, that's the second one here, times 2. That's the third one over here. Now 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. That is the highest common factor of the numbers 48 and 56. To put it simply, that is the largest number that is divisible by both 48 and 56. Remember, the first task is to find out the prime factors of both numbers. Then, let me just change color to highlight this, to write it down in this format. Then you circle the ones which are similar and multiply them together. That will give you your highest common factor. Let's have a look at a, another example. What is the highest common factor of the numbers 126 and 84? Now again, using our factor tree, just let me get the right colors for this, we're going to start with the number 126. Let's go through this quickly. Divided by 2, because it's an even number, 126 is an even number, that gives us 60. Three. Now 63 is not divisible by 2, but it can be divided by 3. 63 divided by 3 is 21. Now I'm going through this quickly because you will have to go through this quickly for the exam. 21 cannot be divided by 2, so the next prime number is 3. It can be divided by 3, the answer is 7. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. So let's circle all the prime factors. 2, 3, 3, and the last one is 7. So we have all the prime factors for the number 126. Now the second number we have is 84. And the same principle, the factor tree, divided by 2, because it's an even number, gives us 42. 42 is another even number, divided by 2 gives us 21, and 21 is 3 times 7. So let's circle all the prime factors of the number 84, it's 2, 2, 3, and 7. So let's write them out, we've got 1, 2, 6, the prime factors are all the numbers that we have circled. 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And for number 84, the prime factors are 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Now, do you remember the next step? We look at the common numbers in both of them, the common prime factors. We have a 2 over here, so we're going to match that with a 2 underneath. And we have a 3 here, we're going to match that with this 3 over here. The other numbers don't match. So therefore, the highest common factor for numbers 126 and 84 is 2, that's this 2 over here, times 3, 3 over here. Oops, sorry, I forgot one over here, right, right at the end, it's a 7, times the 7. So therefore, the highest common factor is 2 times 3, which is 6, times 7 is 42. The highest common factor for numbers 126 and 84 is 42.